Hey guys, it's Norm from Tesla.com. I'm here at CES 2013 and could not be more excited. I know people say that a lot, but I'm being serious this time to talk to you, David Politis, your Chief Marketing Officer of XI3 Corporation. I'm glad we got all those titles out of the way because we're here to talk about what you have in your hand. What is that? Well, Norman, this is Piston. Piston is our development stage product that is designed specifically for the gaming marketplace and is optimized specifically for members of Steam community and for big picture mode, which means you can take any big monitor, like your 50, 60, 70 inch monitor, and then play games all day long. Connect with your community, buy products, upload products, upgrade your products, all in a gaming mode. So David, PC enthusiasts have known about the XI3, you guys have been around at CS for right. quite a while, you guys did a Kickstarter, for, but for people who are just hearing about you right now, Tell them about this hardware. What was it, what, why, what were you guys trying to do when you guys designed this? Well, let me, so this is actually a model of our existing shipping product today. It's called the 5A model, XI3 modular computer. And what makes it different is the fact that instead of having a single motherboard that has everything on it, it's actually subdivided into three smaller boards. And those three smaller boards, as you can see here, is where we put the various pieces of I.O., the power, the video, as a result of these three modular pieces, when new technology comes out, you can actually bring in new I.O., change what it does, and you don't throw away your computer, you actually spend less money and you extend the useful life of that computer. So you can do that with USB, you can do that with DisplayPort, you can do that with pretty much anything. The new XI3 modular computer, the one we announced in our Kickstarter product, is actually called the 7A. The 7A uses the same tri-board design, the same architecture, fits in this same classic, roughly four inch, grapefruit size chassis, but it's designed for power users. So we had a lot of excitement generated on Kickstarter for our first power user machine. And the new piston platform that we're talking about today is based on that 7A. So as power users, what type of equivalent gaming performance are you going to get? You know, if we're running Steam games on that, what, what is that the equivalent of, whether it's a laptop or a desktop? Well, I don't know that I'd put it as far as what's it equivalent to, I'd say what can you do? So I know that we've been running Crisis 2, we've been running Half-Life, we've been running without any problems all the things you would expect to be able to run on a gaming platform. So what's funny is even with our older technology, we're running things on this platform that you shouldn't be able to. For example, SolidWorks Professional, you shouldn't be able to run that on a dual core machine. You shouldn't be able to run it without having four gigs of RAM. But we have an industrial designer in our office, that's what he uses all the time. It's like, how can you do that? Well, because of how well it's designed, because of how tightly it's built. You can do things that you shouldn't be able to based upon specs. That's why I get a little nervous about saying, what does this compare to? It's like, we tell people, go try it out. If it doesn't work, send it back. And is it your vision that these are in the living room? Are they, in, you know, are they replacing desktops? Are they in the office? Like what, where, what world does this live in? Well, we believe that XI3 is going to be intergalactic. Isn't that what everybody's hoping for? World domination. World domination, absolutely. No. Well, when it's a Valve's booth, that's well on your long way. I mean, to be realistic, this is, of course, really small. There are customers that look at this and say, it's beautiful. I want it just because it's beautiful. I mean, I've had, I couldn't tell you how many people have said, oh, wait, can I get it in this color? I want this color. That's, that alone is enough for them to buy. But then they look at things like low power. I mean, the 5A is only 20 watts of power. The new 7A for a power user machine is 40 watts of power. Are you kidding me? Go have Junior go spend a month at Grandma's house and look at her electricity bill go like this because he's pulling down 600, 800, 1,000 watts of power on this big gaming machine. Why in the world should you do that? It's not very green. So we think that, we're not think, we're seeing corporate customers, we're seeing government customers, we're seeing small businesses, we're seeing home use, and we've seen a lot of interest in the gaming community as well. And you said it's for the power users, and the piston's going to be based around the 7A, at least design-wise, philosophy-wise. Uh, do you guys have like a price range that you guys are targeting for that? Well, for the 7A, the entry-level price point is going to be $999, and for that machine, for the X7A, that'll be a quad-core machine, boostable speed up to 
3.2 gigahertz, eight gigs of DDR3 RAM, it'll have 384 programmable discrete class graphics cores, it'll have triple monitor support, I think it'll start at a 64 gig solid state drive up to a terabyte, a terabyte inside of this, turn it around, sorry, get that right, up to a terabyte inside of this solid state, up to 12 gigabits per second. That's a power user machine, right? So, Piston is derived from that platform. And what you told me earlier was that whenever Piston gets its name changed, whatever happens with it, it's going to retain that form factor, that oh, XI3 you designed. Small, yeah, Piston is going to stay in this form factor. It'll have those basic specs, but we're going to tune it in, specifically optimize for residential and LAN gameplay. And I got to ask, what can you say about your relationship with Valve at this point in time? What I can officially say is that there was a press release that went out today saying that the Piston, well, we didn't say Piston, but our new development stage game system is going to be in our booth and in Valve's booth. We also said way down at the bottom of the release, a little sentence said, we have received an investment from Valve. Beyond that, and the fact that it's designed specifically for gameplay, sporting Steam, sporting big picture mode, I'm sorry. We're just not saying anything else right now. We will let people on the internet provide their own assumptions, their own inferences. I have, I have already seen all sorts of speculation and we knew that, we, we, we thought, we thought that there would be some interest here. So we're very pleased. I'm, I'm, you are absolutely right, David. Congratulations on, on, on this press release being released, at least. And, uh, in time for CES, exactly, in time for CES. We're, we're excited to be here. We see some really, as big as gaming is, we, we don't think it's done. We think it's still got a long, long way to go. I agree with you. Well, thank you, David, again. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll have more from CES 2013 from the show floor. You find more at Tested.com. I'm Norm, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.